me, baby. Once upon a time, you said if I'll be yours for the girl that you would show be mine, but that's alright. I know you're in love with another man, but baby, that's alright. Every night and day I do wonder Who loving my baby tonight You told me baby Your love for me was strong But when I woke up little girl Half of this big whoop was gone But that's alright Maybe that's alright Every night and day I do wonder Who's loving my baby tonight Darling, what's getting wrong with you? You don't treat me halfway, baby, but like you used to do, but that's alright. I know you don't love me anymore, but that's alright. Every night and day, I do wonder. baby tonight Hey everyone, this is Sean Tublu with SixStringBlues.com Today I want to sort of do it like a vlog style because I got some great news, great things going on in my life right now. Uh, basically for the last 25 plus years I've been in and out of blues bands throughout uh, the different decades. I played in a blues rock band I played in some uh, bunch of harmonica bass bands, uh, but I'm very excited because this Saturday I had my very first gig of 2018. I'm really looking forward to it. And what's even more cool about this gig is that I actually have an opportunity where I could possibly join a band. Uh, so I've been practicing my ass off. I've been agreeing to sing songs when I've never really sang in a band ever. Minus my days playing uh, in a Metallica type cover band uh, back in the early 90s, that would be while I was in the Air Force. But anyways, I've been excited about that. Uh, not only that, it's New Guitar Day, or NGD as they call it, dude. NGD! Uh, but yeah, this is a awesome guitar. I've been uh, playing it for the last few days. I picked it up actually from the bass player in the band that I'm playing with. And uh, he's been trying to sell this bad boy, and he gave me an offer that I cannot refuse. Uh, but for now, I haven't made the decision, although I am really loving it. Uh, so I might be able to get away with a trade or so to get this beautiful guitar. It's actually called a Sherwood Deluxe. And I believe if Mr. Wash Tub James told me correctly, uh, this guitar uh, started out as a Montgomery Wards guitar, uh, sold for roughly around 55 bucks or 75 bucks or something like that. Uh, it did come all acoustic, uh, but my friend Wash Tub James actually uh, customized this bad boy by putting in some two P90 pickups in it and uh, two volume controls with a three-way selector switch. And it has a big ass fat neck. This is the fattest neck that I've ever played before. Uh, but what's cool about that for me is I have kind of some big hands, at least big palms. Uh, and I always loved 
chunky neck. So this guitar is it. Uh, the action on this thing is wowza. Uh, if you want to become a blues guitar master, raise your strings up this high off the neck and I guarantee you your fingers will hurt so bad uh, that you will become fingertips of steel. Uh, so anyways, yes, so it's new guitar day. I'm almost going to be in a band hopefully and I have a gig on Saturday where I'm going to try singing. And that song you just heard is actually called Jimmy Rogers. It's called uh, That's Alright. It's one of my favorite blues songs. I've been working my ass on it, trying to sing it, trying to get it right. I'm still not fully there. i got to get the rhythm part down. But I will be playing with a piano player who's awesome, a harmonica player and singer who's awesome, an awesome drummer, and awesome bass. So we're going to have a kick-ass time at this gig. Really looking forward to it. Uh, this is my ideal kind of band situation as far as uh, the setup goes and the, and the guys that we're playing with. We're all a bunch of cool guys. We all get along. So I'm really looking forward to it. Uh, the other great thing is today hopefully I'll be getting a call from my local guitar store because my Fender Telecaster has been taken in for repair. Uh, I don't know if you noticed on my last video with the Telecaster, uh, basically I was getting some buzzing sound on the lower strings. Uh, of course with the Fender Telecaster what I forgot to explain is it does have a C-shaped neck or a carved neck. So when you bend up some BB King strings, BB uh, King licks on the front, you know, up around the 12th, 13th fret, uh, it really starts to fret out. So I took it in for a setup, I was getting a lot of buzzing on a, on a high E string. Uh, but hopefully today it'll be done and I'm going to go pick up the new t the Telecaster. Uh, ask them to find out what year it is. Uh, if you look up the serial numbers with the Fender Telecasters, it's really hard to dictate how, how what year the guitar is made. Uh, but anyways, back at it. So this is sort of a vlog today. I wanted to pass on something to you guys that's really been uh, kicking my butt and really been I've really been enjoying. If you're looking at wanting to play Chicago blues guitar, uh, one of the best things that I can tell you to go get right now is this book. Uh, this is the Chicago Blues Rhythm Guitar Book and it's written by Bob Rowland or Steady Rowland Bob Margolin uh, that I mentioned in uh, hopefully I mentioned that in my Telecaster video but Steady Rowland Bob Margolin pictured right here next to Muddy Waters of course is one of the best sidemen ever and he has a great telly. Uh, this, this book uh, actually has DVDs in it. Uh, the great thing about this book you can actually buy it for the Kindle which I have it for the Kindle and then with the Kindle you can actually watch the videos online with your iPad. Uh, same thing with this book though. They give you the DVD for this book but you can also have a link, a web link uh, that has a code on it that lets you go to the website where you can uh, watch the videos that are featured in this thing. This book will kick your butt. I don't care if you're a pro guitarist, there's some great things in there that I learned. Uh, I've been playing blues guitar, you know, 20 plus years, but I learned some very simple techniques in here that were just blew my mind that I didn't know before. Anyway, it's called Chicago Blues Rhythm Guitar, The Complete and Definitive Guide uh, by Steady Rollin' Bob Margolin and Dave Rubin. Uh, so definitely check this book out. I'll put the Amazon link down below. Uh, you can go ahead and click it. And it is an affiliate link, so go ahead and purchase that if you want, and you'll help me out and help this channel out. The next thing I want to mention, uh, I am sporting a very special shirt today. This shirt is the J.W. Jones Blues Band, minus my big beer belly. Uh, this is the J.W. Jones Blues Band out of Ottawa, Canada. Highly suggest checking them out at www.jw-jones.com. All right, so www.jwjones, jw slash jones, link down below. You know what I'm talking about. Link down below, check it out. Anyways, he's running a Kickstarter campaign because he's gonna try to record a brand new live CD. If you've never seen JW Jones before, he is, uh, his CDs are great, but check out his live shows because they are explosive guitar. That guy's a master on guitar and he makes that Les Paul sound like nobody can, I mean, he can, Play everything from J or from J W Jones licks to B B King licks to Jimmy Vaughn licks to Magic Sam to all sorts of great blues guitar. So check him out. He's throwing a Kickstarter right now to record a live CD. So check him out and tell him I said hi. Tell him I sent you. Uh, but anyways, this is from Sean with Six String Blues. Wish me luck in my gig. Wish me luck in getting that band. And all I have to say is, you're a guitarist out there, want to play in the band? Work your butt off. Listen to those records. 
I've had to learn so many songs for this upcoming gig because I don't usually play with some of these songs that they, this group plays with. Uh, so I've been really pushing myself because I really want this. This is the perfect timing for me. I really want this band situation to work out. So join me. Click subscribe down below. Follow this journey. If I'll do some live updates as I go on. Uh, I'm going to plan on doing a gig uh, video coming up where I'm going to say get, how to get ready for a gig as a blues guitarist. Uh, so check it out. Click subscribe. Click the little bell next to the subscribe button. And uh, let's see what we can do, man. So back to the Stetson. which Or not the Stetson. I'm sorry. This is the Sherwood Deluxe. Uh, so let's go ahead and check it out. I want to really think I should get this guitar. What do you think? Comment down below. All right, what should I play here? All right, before I get started, I'll do a big review on this guitar coming up. Uh, I really do love it. Check out the patina on this thing. Check out the patina on this thing. All right, let's go. Check it out. 